What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie298 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And it's that time of month again. It's Loot Crate time. This month, I thought I would go ahead and do both the basic Loot Crate, which is the really cheap one. I think it really retails at about 15 bucks here in the United States. And then Loot Crate DX. This is the much more expensive one but always has the way cooler toys. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Loot Crate, Loot Crate is a monthly grab bag of nerdy goods. Uh, they get sent to your house for a relatively inexpensive price. And each monthly grab bag has its own theme. This month's theme is Kingdom. So I was told to expect something from Legend of Zelda, uh, Lord of the Rings, Adventure Time. Why no Game of Thrones? Why no? Why would this? I want Game of Thrones, but okay, that's fine. I, maybe there will be in there and I just don't know it yet. If at any point during this video uh, you decide you want to get Loot Crate for yourself or somebody you love, go to LootCrate.com slash Boogie2988. And if you use coupon code Boogie2988, I'll make some money, you'll save some money, but no, you never have to do that. You can always just come back next month and watch me open mine. So let's start off with the big boy. Here's the thing about Loot Crate DX. Uh, this case is about 50 bucks a month. I think it's like $47 plus shipping. So it is definitely the much more expensive option. You have to be a very serious loot crater to want to get this. I happen to be that kind of person though. I, I love the more expensive crate because I do genuinely think you get much better stuff. Okay, starting off with this. Uh, and this is a Slurm themed cooler from Futurama. Well, we are just about to go camping, so this is actually going to be very, very useful. Yep, it's basically a fairly simple bag that'll let you keep your cold drinks cold and your warm stuff warm. Um, I love the theme of this, though. Man, I wish I was still able to drink soda, because I would love to pull an actual slurm out of this. Here is something Rick and Morty themed. Oh, my God. These are more of those geeky tikis. Um, I actually got the full set of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones, and now it's Rick and Morty themed. Oh, my God. There is your little Morty themed glass. All right, I love that. That's probably the proper size drink glass for me right now too. And then here is this giant Rick glass. Oh my God, these are so cool. I love these. All right, my wife is an insane Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan, so I know she's gonna get notes for this. Look at this, this is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pizza cookbook with pepperoni and sweet pickle. Oh, pot sticker pizza, ninja stars. Are you kidding me? She's gonna lose her mind. Love this. Chocolate chili pepper pizza with butternut squash. Ugh. Final item out of the box, and I bet you're not gonna recognize this. If you do, big points to you for being a huge Bob's Burgers fan. I am a Bob's Burger fan. Did not expect to ever get one of these. I think there was like a San Diego Comic-Con giveaway that was very similar to this. Uh, but yeah, this is a Coochie Kopi. Here he is out of the box, and he does appear to glow. Uh, the episode that I remember, the first Coochie Kopi, was the Crawl Space episode, in which they, they give Bob the uh, Coochie Kopi nightlight when he's in the Crawl Space. And yes, this is also a nightlight. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. This is one of the coolest things I own. I love it. And then finally, for the pen collectors out there, there is this month's pen, Rick and Morty, and it's a portal gun. You can take it with you anywhere you go. I got to say, man, their pens have come so far. I love collecting these now. I used to not care at all, but that is just one of the coolest pens I've ever seen. Here's the short little booklet you get uh, showing off that month's theme. This was for July, so the theme was animation. Shows off all the different items you could have gotten or that you did get. And then, of course, it shows you the Mega Crate. And as usual, we're not eligible to win. It's a mega crate. I don't know why I even try. And that's the DX crate. And I got to say, every time I open one of those, I'm pleasantly surprised by how cool the stuff is. Um, it's not always been a winner, but it seems like be a good winner. But it's the most expensive crate that you can get on a monthly basis. And it's as expensive as some of the standalone crates, like the Stranger Things crates and some of the, the other stuff like that. If, you know, I got to say, you definitely pay for what you get. So let's get back to basics. So the cheaper crate, I, I do love. We actually get two different versions of it now each month. One in my wife's t-shirt size and one in my new t-shirt size so that we have matching t-shirts because we're just that kind of geeks. And speaking, oh, here's this one's t-shirt. And oh, oh my God. It is Link from the original 8-Bit Zelda made out of tile pieces from the original Legend of Zelda game. Oh my God, that is sexy. That shirt is gonna get me laid. 
And that's why I always think the regular crate is such a value because uh, t-shirts in my size, generally a lot more expensive than 15 bucks. Here is our Adventure Time item. You know, I've only ever watched the first season of Adventure Time, but this is apparently the Nice King and Gunter. Isn't he the Ice King? Is, when, did he become, when did he become the Nice King? Gotta say, though, I, like most Adult Swim figures, these are just, that is really nice. Uh, you get the penguin hanging off the back. The throne looks very cool. I mean, very stylized. Looks exactly like the cartoon, but pretty decent figure. Pretty decent size. Got some real weight to it, too. Not bad. All right, here is our Lord of the Rings item. And it's a color-changing glass. That's interesting. So here it is with its basic color. Uh, it says to add cold liquid. So here goes cold water. I don't know how it's going to change, if it'll change. But let's see. Whoa, did the lettering, did the lettering change? Is that what changed? Oh yeah, it's getting darker. Look at that, pretty cool. Get it? Because it takes, it takes cold water. All right, that's, that's kind of cool. Can't believe I had styrofoam from that cup on my eyebrow. And then there's a bonus little art print in here this month as well. Uh, and I, you probably recognize this from Lord of the Rings. That would be, which, which hobbit is that on the back of the treant as they ride into Isengard to destroy it? Oh, man, it's such a good part of the movie. I've never read the books, but I love that part of the movie. That's nice. I, I take it out of the plastic so you can see a little bit better, but I don't want it to get damaged. Here's this month's pen, and I think it's a little bit underwhelming. It's basically a coat of arms for looters. Eh, it's okay. And finally, the booklet that breaks down all the different items you could have got. Shows you some of the other feature stuff that's going on with the loot crate. And, of course, yep, the Mega Crate, including a Nintendo Switch. Come on, with Legend of Zelda. Are you kidding me? We never win the Mega Crate. And that's this month's Mega Crate. Um, the figure is okay. The glass is all right. Gotta say I love the t-shirt. I always love the t-shirt. Uh, and now that I need a new wardrobe, all these 5X t-shirts I've been collecting, they're finally coming into use, baby. So let me know. What did you think about last month's Loot Crate DX for animation? What did you think about this month's Basic Crate for Kingdoms? I love the t-shirt, and I loved everything in the DX, but I'm curious to hear your opinion. And don't forget, if you decide to get Loot Crate for yourself or somebody you love, including all of the different wacky one-shot crates or, or any of the weird bi-monthly crates, go to LootCrate.com slash Boogie2988 and use coupon code Boogie2988, and I'll make some money. You'll save some money. But no, you never have to do that. You can always just come back next month and watch me open mine. And if you order by the 19th of September, by the way, that'll guarantee you the September crate. The theme for that crate is robotic. So it's this is supposed to have items from Blade Runner 2049, Aliens, Star Trek, Mirror Universe. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of any of that other than Aliens. I don't know if it's going to be a good crate for me, but it might be for you. And before we go, can I say a big thank you to all of you who watch these Loot Crate unboxings every month? Because the support means so much to me. Even if you just watch the video, uh, I just appreciate you doing that. And if you're one of those people who ever decided to order something through that Loot Crate code, you've definitely helped us out. And I big thank you to those, uh, those people as well. But to the folks over at Loot Crate who continue to support this channel during this volatile time here on YouTube, where they're demonetizing my videos just about as fast as I can upload them, it means all the world and make sure that me and my family are going to be able to take care of our, uh, ourselves and we'll be able to continue uh, to produce content for a very long time. Guys, until next month, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again soon.